Hello everyone. Information Box Ticket Lifestyles brings you today Microbiology topic on Isolation of Actinomycetes from Soil Sample But first don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's dive into the table of content of our today's topic. First we will learn about what is Actinomycetes, its habitat and where it is found, then we will come to the principle of isolation of actinomycetes, procedure of isolation of actinomycetes, and its expected results of isolation of actinomycetes. Let's learn about actinomycetes. Actinomycetes are a subclass of gram-positive bacteria that are distinguished by their capacity to produce spores and mycelia structures. Although they comprise a unique evolutionary line of creatures that includes everything from cocoid and polymorphic forms to branching filaments, they exhibit noticeable chemical and morphological variety. These bacteria are highly significant to scientists, the pharmaceutical industry and the agriculture sector since they have shown to function as abundant reservoirs of therapeutic antibiotics. Now let's see where we can find actinomycetes. The help of this picture you can see, actinomycetes are free living and are common in soil habitat as well as in freshwater and marine ecosystem. They also have a significant ecological function in the recycling of organic matter. Many actinomycetes have developed symbiotic relationship with plants, fungi, animals, insects and other organisms. The majority of these interactions between actinomycetes and the host are advantageous. Actinomycetes either create nanoparticles that enable the host to defend themselves against infections or pests or enzymes that break down tough natural polymers like lignocellulose. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribing. Now let's head to the isolation principle of actinomycetes. Actinomycetes is a known taxonomic word for a class of common soil microorganisms sometimes known as thread or ray bacteria. These are renowned for breaking down more durable organic compounds such as complex sugar called chitin that is present in the exoskeletons of insects and other organisms. However, among other things, the type of soil, location, culture and organic matter have a significant impact on the richness and variety of actinomycetes found in any given soil. After dilution of the soil slurry, several agar media can be employed to isolate actinomycetes from soil sample. Isolation of actinomycetes agar is a commonly used selective media. It has sodium caseinate as a source of nitrogen. In addition to being an amino acid, asparagus also contains nitrogen. In anaerobic fermentation, sodium pionate is employed as a substrate. The buffering mechanism is provided by D-potassium phosphate. The sulfates act as a source of metallic ions and sulfur. An other source of carbon is glycerol. By preventing messenger RNA translation, the fungi that are opportunistic are prevented from interfering further. Opportunistic fungus experience cell growth arrest and cell death as a result. On the other hand, chitin, a complex sugar that is often hydrolyzed by actinomycetes, is present in chitin agar. As a result, it can promote the growth of only actinomycetes while also suppressing the growth of other soil bacteria and fungi. Now let's understand the procedure of isolation of actinomycetes. With the help of this diagram, you will understand the procedure. First, we will begin to make a soil slurry by combining 1 gram of collected dry soil with 10 ml of distilled water. For 2 minutes, a vortex is used to stir the slurry. Then, the slurry is divided into duplicates and used to make 4 1 in 10 fold cereal dilations. The agar plates, actinomycetes isolation agar, supplemented with cyclohexamide 50 gram per ml and nystatin 50 gram per ml and chitin agar or starch chitin agar are then set up and 1 ml proportion of each dilation are spread on them. 
then every spread plate is labeled before being incubated at 25 degrees Celsius for 7 to 14 days. On day 14, clonies from both sets of cells are collected and noted in each dilation. To identify the diversity of clonies that have developed, each plate is meticulously examined under a microscope. There are also calculations and records for diversity, evenness and richness in dices. To generate pure single clonies, various clony types are then selected using sterile forceps and streaked out on a glucose yeast extract agar plates. After that, streak plates are then incubated and the generation of antibiotics is evaluated afterwards. Show your support by subscribing to my channel. Let's see what our expected result should be. Regarding actinomycetes isolation, after 7 days of incubation on agar supplemented with cyclohexamide and neocytin, actinomycetes specific pinpoint white clonies can be seen with a distinct zone of inhibition around them. You can expect clonies to have a variety of appearance, including large bright white filaments with mycelia that resembles a net, pale white branching filaments that look powdery, dark brown uniformity and crumb-like appearance, light brown appearance with mycelia that resembles cilia on its boundaries, dark brown appearance with embedded concentric circular patterns and lastly yellow clonies with lovely mycelia and transparent boundaries. On chitin agar, certain actinomycete clonies have a distinct zone of hydrolysis surrounding them making it easier to identify them macroscopically. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Thank you so much.